67. And then I have this pearl one that's pretty neutral that I got the other day. This is Beverly. It's like pearls and it has a little blue bunny on the back. I wear that one a lot. Yeah. This isn't my dog. This is my friend Cassie's dog. I'm just dog sitting. Her name is Hallie. Unfortunately, no, we don't get all of the, <laughs> we don't get a Tony trophy. <laughs> There's just one for each category. <clears throat> Yeah, Blake Roman is amazing. He's a very, very kind person. He was just in harmony. Great singer, great actor. My favorite summer activity, being on the beach. Um, oh my gosh, no way. My favorite musical of all time is Gypsy. I think that's what really got me into theater. Gypsy, Sweeney Todd, Little Shop of Horrors, Hamilton, it's pretty basic. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm a pretty basic gal, but that's okay. <laughs> um, favorite place to travel to? Ocean City, Maryland. <laughs> I had such a big crush on Rick Moranis in the Little Shop movie. <laughs> uh, yeah. I unfortunately don't have a Tony trophy. <laughs> Improving the point in your feet. A lot of releves really rolling through the floor, really trying to articulate through your three-quarter point, your half point, your quarter point, all the way through. And instead of thinking you're crunching at the end of your point, like this is very dance teacher of me, think about like energy shooting out of your toes, like if your fingertips, like people are always like, energy through your fingertips, like at dancing. Energy through your toes, and then at the very end, like slightly give it a point. So there's energy coming out instead of just crunching your foot down. It'll strengthen your foot in a different way. Obviously a lot of points that's like genetic and you can't help that but you can you can um, get more flexible feet by it. Yes, I think that Brown would be a great Sweeney Todd. <laughs> when I did my first show, like my first dance recital I would consider my first show. I was three years old and I was a bumblebee. Yes, Jason is very nice. <laughs> I think I want a dog like Hallie. She just follows you around. Like, I want a Velcro dog. <laughs> I want the one that follows me around and just sits and is quiet, doesn't really bark. The only time that Hallie barked the past couple of days was at a man in a suit. And I said, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. She didn't even bark at the big dog at the park that was being mean to her this morning. She's so chill, so good. Favorite thing about Bev? Hmm. She's just a girly girl. I love her. Oh, your pug is so velcro. Oh, black pugs are so cute. Did anyone read the Click series growing up? I know you might be too young for that, but if you if you love a good like Click series, I mean the thing is I had a Click in my dance studio growing up, and they did invite me anywhere. Uh, and so I read this book series called The Click to feel a little bit better about myself. Yeah, Tracy, you know. And that was my favorite series. I read every single book in that series. And if you haven't, read it. It's by Lisey Harrison. It's everything. Uh, but the Click series, she had the main girl of the Click, the Alpha, had a black pug named Bean. And I always wanted a black pug named Bean because of it. <laughs> Tips for dancers. Stay disciplined. There will be days you don't want to go to ballet. There'll be days that you don't want to stretch. You just got to do it. And you'll feel so much better after. It's like moving your body. You always feel better after you move your body, no matter what. Even if you take a walk around the block, it's better than just sitting. You know what I mean? It just makes you feel good. And if dancing professionally is something you want to do, like you have to be disciplined. You have to have dedication. Anything that you do, whether it's dancing, singing, acting, being a doctor or a dentist, you have to have dedication to it and discipline. That's just, yeah. <laughs> Don't overdo it, obviously. Active stretching is better than sitting in a middle split for 20 minutes, but obviously sitting in a middle split is better than doing nothing. <laughs> oh, someone in, uh, who wants, your dream role is Dally. Yeah, just start co go getting as much experience under your belt as possible, building your <laughs> it's 
not leaving me to show you guys. <laughs> Just because we're on, we're, we have a, a Broadway job doesn't mean that, um, doesn't mean that you can't do like film and TV in the morning or a modeling gig or a dance gig on our day off. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you guys. <laughs> Um, I went to a studio called Edna Lee Dance Studio in the middle of nowhere, Maryland, and my dance teacher, Ashley Cantona Hardy, produced some of the most amazing dancers I've seen in my life. If you haven't seen, if you're really into ballet, check out Derek Dunn, D-E-R-E-K-D-U-N. He grew up dancing with me at my studio in the middle of nowhere, Maryland, like above a liquor store and a food line. Like it was the jankiest like little space. like. Vents were falling out of the ceiling. The bars were this small. Like I came from a very like lower middle class like family. Like there is training out there like for you, no matter if how much you can afford, you know. And this guy Derek Dunn, he is he went from being a little competition dancer at a rinky dink home studio to going to the rock school in Philadelphia, and now he went to Houston Ballet and is now a principal ballet dancer at Boston Ballet. And he, in my opinion, is the best dancer in the world. The best dancer in the world, okay? So, check him out. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you come from. Is Brent nice? He's the nicest. <laughs> He's like a little golden retriever. He could be best friends with The Rock. <laughs> do you think that, let's see, you seem like such a nice person. Oh, thank you so much. I do not watch Dance Moms because I know them personally. <laughs> Ivy Lee Miller was on our stage door the other day. Not the little ones, I, I grew up with their older kids. Because <clears throat> they're from Pittsburgh and I'm from Maryland, so like we would comp uh, compete. Yes. She was literally at the stage door, like, you know, like when everyone waits and like sign, we sign, she was just there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just judged your student Scarlett. She's amazing. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. How old am I? Age reveal. You guys, I'm old. <laughs> I'm older than you probably think I am. And it's okay. What's my favorite scene in the musical? I like the drive-in. I know I look 23. That's why I play a high schooler. I'm very, I'm very, very lucky that I will be able to probably play. It's like Sky. Sky's 32, you guys. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. We all look so young, but we're not. <laughs> we're, we're grown, we're grown ass adults. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> That's how, that's like, people who play, to play 18. <laughs> My typecast is usually a young girl, a high school girl. <laughs> the youngest I think is Jason. I think Jason's 23, 24, 23. Oh yeah, no more age reveals. I don't wanna hurt anyone <laughs> who doesn't wanna tell. Uh, Daryl just had a birthday yesterday. That was fun. I'm a Pisces. So I have a chance, I'm screwed. Well, you guys, I gotta go. But we love you. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not 17 like the show. <laughs> when I was 17, I couldn't sing. <laughs> so thank God. Let's take old Pookie Pie is incredible. Yes, Abby was just fully there, just sitting there. Mm -hmm. I wanna eat. I just wanna eat this dog up. But anyway, I don't sell Dan Berry pins, you guys. I think I might just need to do that and like sell it for some sort of charity. I think we need to do that soon. I'm gonna turn this air off, it's so loud. Probably sounds so much better, but. Yes, I used to judge dance competitions back in the day. Yes, that was my side gig before I got this. I think about the Dan Perry, Dan Perry, hello. Dan Berry pins, I will think about them. Sell it for Broadway flea market, that's a great idea, but love you guys.
I'll see you soon. I'll do a live sometime this week. I'm also doing a, a Shark Week snob party for the Saturday Night on Broadway, so I, I will tell you. I think I'm going to bake some cupcakes with Sarah Grace and like make little gummy shark drinks and stuff, so maybe we'll go live while we make those. <laughs> but love you guys. I'll see you soon. Shark Week. Ooh, ah, bye. <laughs> bye, Joe.